At the beginning, um, to set their goals, the kids had a little bit of trouble with it, but doing it as a whole classroom and setting examples of what a goal would look like, not necessarily like a goal, you know, we would do short-term goals and then look at the long-term goals. So practicing it at the beginning, it took us a little bit at the beginning to for the kids to make it very clear for them um, to set up their short goals. So we would um, give examples, that's what I would do in my classroom, and see what a, a good, um, a solid short goal would look like. And they would just focus on that short goal for the week. It would be specific, like um, they would, the kids would list which target area um, they're working on. So if it's on area and volume, that what they need as an individual, what they need to do. Do they need a workshop? Some students might not need a workshop. They can do it on their own and look at the playlists. So it would sp uh, specify if they need a workshop and how many playlists that they would before they attempt the um, assessment. Like for instance, this morning I did a couple of workshops so they think immediately that they can go back to their seat and just take the test. Maybe, maybe one or two might be able to do that, but for the most part they should go back again and still practice it and look at the playlists so that it would be more clear for them.